Hi! Welcome to the Worm Riders Assembly Guide. In this first video, we will see how to assemble the command group. Inside the box, you will find a sprue like this one. Maybe it's cut in several parts to facilitate the packing and avoid possible breakages. The riders are multi-component. You can mix the torsos and arm as you wish. I will assemble them using the renders as reference. Let's begin with the champion. Locate, cut and clean all the parts you see in the image to assemble this first model. I use cyanocrylate glue and cyanocrylate activator to fix the pieces. The first step is to join the two parts of the warm main body. Put activator in one piece and glue in the other one. When joining them, the two pieces will be fixed in a few seconds. If a group remains in the joint of the two pieces, it will be covered later, before painting using the green staff. Glue the two pieces of the head, and then join the head to the body of the worm. Now we need a 40mm round base. It's time to place the smaller parts. We will start with the tentacles that go on the both sides in the front of the head. I put a bit of glue on a plastic surface, so I don't put it directly on the small piece to avoid a spillover. We continue with the legs as shown in the video.
we put the last leg and the worm's body stung. Pay attention to these holes, match the small inserts on the rider's left leg. We already have the legs on the rider stuck to the worm. Now we will place the torso. We continue with the arms. As you can see, thanks to the ball joint, you can place them as you like. I will put them as seen in the reference render. And we have finished the Warm Rider Champion. It's really cool! Let's go for the second model. I will use the renders as a reference. As we did with the first model, we will separate and clean the pieces we need, as you can see in the image. We will start gluing the head of the worm to its body. Now the tail. Oh oh, stop here. I have glued the base, but I recommend you not to do it and leave it to the end because later we will glue this small piece in these marks that are in the lower area of the body of the worm and if you glue the base now, you will find it very difficult to access this area later. Let's continue with these fins. It is very easy to place them. Now these smaller fins with fangs, they are placed in those gaps in the lower part of the worm's head. And now we will stick that little piece we talked before. We will begin placing the body of the rider. You will see that it has a socket that fits very easily into the body of the worm. We glue the right leg. the torso and the arms This model is done Now we only have one model left to finish the command group. 
separate and clean the pieces as shown in the image. We start with the body of the worm as in the previous model. Pay attention to the two inserts to correctly place the tail. The body is finished, so we continue with the small pieces. We glue the right legs. We fit the legs in the notches that are in the body of the worms. We glue the torso and only the arms remain. We glue the worm to the base and with this the model is finished. Congratulations! You have assembled your Worm Riders Command Group. Don't miss the second part of this assembly guide for the Worm Riders, where we will assemble the troopers. See you soon!